a PLN. A phase lock loop is a feedback system that compares the output phase with the input phase. The comparison is performed by a phase comparator or a phase detector. It is therefore beneficial to define what is a phase detector. In this particular implementation, we have used a phase frequency detector. It generates, it compares both the frequency and the phase detection or the phase uh, of the signal and then locks onto the difference between the two. A 125 MHz reference frequency is taken as a reference to the symbol. An LC VCO working at 10 GHz is operated and is divided and its divided version is given to a 125 MHz reference frequency. The PFD measures the difference between the two and then generates fast or slow signals for the charge pump. They are also called the up and down signals. These signals are then time, time uh, input is then converted into voltage signal and then this voltage signal is given to the VCO either to increase the speed of the VCO or to reduce the speed or a frequency of the VCO. To avoid random and high amplitude changes in the system or in the VCO, a low pass filter is used to reduce the variations in them and then allow for a smoother transition in the VCO. This particular PLL generates a 10 gigahertz output, 5 gigahertz output, 2.5 and 1.25 gigahertz output are obtained from the divider circuit. In this particular case, we will generate a wide range of frequency generation from 1.25 gigahertz to 20 gigahertz. We will also look at an inductorless frequency doubler and an LCVCO for a 10 gigahertz operation. This particular frequency synthesis is divided into two blocks. A phase lock loop in the red color which contains an LC VCO, a phase frequency detector and a charge pump based detection scheme which generates a frequency output from 1.25 GHz to 10 GHz. This frequency output sees typical applications in USB 3.2, 3.1 based systems and also Ethernet 10 GE or 10 gigabit per system, system Ethernet systems. The frequency doubler given here is used to double the frequency from 10 gigahertz to 20 gigahertz. In this system we are using an inductorless load. The mixing action is performed by a double balanced mixer to make the doubling action. The typical applications of this additionally or independently would be in the transmitter changes and in up conversion mixers. Both these works were presented in IMARC 2018 as an IEEE conference and the VLSI design and automation test conference in 2019. Let us spend some time on the design of the LCVCO based phase lock loop. The phase lock loop is highlighted in this region in red. There is a reference frequency given to the input which receives the uh, parallel comparison output from the divider of the VCO. That information is sent to a phase frequency detector. The difference is obtained into the charge pump and the charge pump then gives the control voltage to the voltage controlled oscillator. The PFD is designed using two D flip flops and the corresponding delay elements are present to control the reset time and to identify what is the up and down signals present. The inputs to the D flip flop, one of the D flip flops are the reference frequency given to the clocking input and the divided input sent to the other D flip flop. The outputs of the D flip flop are then sent to the charge pump. The charge pump op is uh, operates by pumping in the current which is based on the amount of time the up signal or the down signal comes. The up signal allows current to be charged in this path and the down signal allows the current to be charged, discharged from this path. This effectively gives the total amount of charge present. In this charge pump, you can also see the low pass filter design 
the low pass filter is a second order filter where you have uh, made up of C, R and C filters. This R frequency uh, present here provides a zero pole which allows the low frequency action to happen further. Another RC filter is added to remove the variations in the any variations if any in the control voltage output. This control voltage output is fed to the control input control voltage of the capacitor. This particular capacitor is called the tuning capacitor of the LC tank. Here the L is fixed and uh, the LC tank is tuned to operate at 10.2 gigahertz. This LC ratio is also operational from a wide range of uh, frequencies close to 15% to 18% of tuning range is provided in the LC tank to compensate for temperature, pressure and voltage variations. This LC ratio is made up of two cross coupled uh, devices one in the NMOS and one in the PMOS. These cross coupled devices allow for large swing operation and they also work as latches which allow the signal to go to nearly the maximum frequencies. Cross coupled latches also behave as active inductor blocks such that they can be placed at the load and the bottom to allow uh, as small as VDSAT or the drain voltage available across the transistors and these drain voltages appear at the output. So this might reduce the output swing. So to have a larger output swing, cross coupled devices are used here to enhance the swing. The LC, the PLL also works, uh, has a power management block present here. This power management blocks contains three main features. One, it contains a BGR, which is a band gap reference, which generates a reference voltage. It contains a, a voltage regulation circuit, specifically for the three blocks, four blocks highlighted, the charge pump, the VCO, the doubler and the buffer. Finally, you have a current distribution circuit, which is used to bias all the other current blocks and current sources present. For example, the one shown in the ICP as a charge pump. When you run the simulation, the simulated output of the LC VCO and the PLL gives rise to frequency uh, sp power spectral density as shown in the figure. The first figure highlighted here is the LC PLL operating at close to 10 gigahertz frequency. The skirt that is present here is uh, due to the, the phase noise or the phase, dif phase uh, noise and the difference is uh, designed with uh, two rounds of inductance, two round, uh, two turns and the capacitive bank present on either side for the tuning the system. The varactor present here, the voltage tunable varactor present in this area and the uh, multiplier system being placed close by here uh, which contains of the inductive less uh, frequency doubler or the mixer stage as shown. The rest of the circuits are basically to generate the quadrature phase output. The quadrature phase output is generated using a PPF or a passive filter, polyphase filter using resistors and uh, capacitors. The resultant phase noise, uh, simulated phase noise is as shown. We observe that the resultant phase noise at 1 megahertz offset for the 10 gigahertz PLL came out to be minus 95.12 dBc per hertz, root per hertz and the frequency doubler output at 20 gigahertz has a phase noise at minus 93.88 close to minus 90.